Welcome back. We returned to the uh, shipyard. I think it was. Hi. Zilla wants this thing. Hello. Emma wants this thing. This sword Howdy. is apparently a harness. I was into the sword before. It was cool. You should move to Portland and start a band. You should move to Portland and start a band. Oh god, he's a sword hipster. Let's see if I can blast off his arm in one shot. Nope. I think I missed. Okay, I have an idea. Should I look up fan fiction for us to read? If you want to. In the middle of the fight, okay, can't really. kind of fan fiction? I'm in the middle of the fight, leave me alone. Ah, well, please leave me Okay, fine. Have you ever written your own fan fiction? Yes. Really? What was it about? Well, every time we were given, uh... You know those assignments in school, like, okay, we need you to write a book and illustrate it yourself. It was always oh, fan God, fiction. Yeah, I didn't realize it was fan fiction until later, though. But I always wrote yeah, fan fiction. I, I always hated writing assignments like that. I just never did them. I just took the F. Because I fucking hated writing. I, I like reading just fine, but I'm not a writer. You know? uh, I don't think I've ever outright written uh, fan fiction, but to help myself fall asleep, I would like play out fan fiction y stuff in my head. Like, uh. Like, before I fell asleep, I would be like, okay, yeah, cool. Uh. Uh, the Predator is taking me up on his ship, and like, I've earned his respect, so he's taking me to his home world, and I'm getting to be one of them, and I'm like rising through the ranks, and they don't trust me at first, but. Now they do trust me because I've proven myself. And oh, I helped you them. Fucking and stuff like, you know, like fan fiction and stuff like that. And then I would just fall asleep just thinking shit like that. And I, that's what I did for like a long time. Huh. I'm not quite sure why I stopped, but it, uh, it was pretty blatant, you know. Pop. And I was like, and then there was another one was like. Oh, cool, I'm in this fantasy world, and oh, uh, awesome, I'm now a vampire and a werewolf. I'm a legendary werepire, and oh man, everybody wants to fight me, but because I'm so cool and shit like that. This really cringy shit to look back on. Shooting demons is like shooting people, but without all the pesky moral dilemmas. Pretty much, just like shooting zombies or Nazis. Or no Nazi really zombies. cares about morals. Yeah, I mean, who's gonna criticize you for shooting Nazis? Who's gonna crit criticize you for shooting zombies? The president. That's who. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, uh, I know them. There's some good people. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Watch this sword. I think that's what he saw, something he said at one point, wasn't he? Like, I know these guys. They're good people, or something like that. I think so. Explains everything. Yeah. Just, just oof. Oof. Sword was on the bottom of the sea. Oh, there it is. Man, what a bitch. So they pulled up the sword from the bottom of the sea. How? I, whatever. Like, they went deep sea diving. Oh, they found it. Some trophies! Secrets, I mean. I got enough trophies. But I missed some secrets. I yeah. meant to say secrets. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember where they all uh, are. Fan fiction. Uh, Harry Potter. My Little Pony. My Hero Academia. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh god, where what should we do? It's Twilight random, fan bro. fiction. Oh, be still my heart. I mean, there's Naruto no hearts are fan still. fiction. Oh. Ooh. Let's check out Naruto fan fiction. Alright, you choose your favorite. <laughs> 
Naruto fan fiction archive. Uh, let's see. The Triple Spy. What if Itachi wasn't the only Achiha in the Akatsuki? What if someone else stayed and carried out his plan? Meet Arima Uchiha, brother of Shisui Uchiha and Itachi's ally in his plan to bring peace to the warring shinobi nations. This is his story. It takes place before Naruto Shippuden. <laughs> Chapter 10. We should stick to the lack of the plan. We should stick to the lack of plan. Uh -oh. <clears throat> oh no! Playing pretend. Keep your distance if you Data can. Senpai Simple wanted to take a close persistent. look at the kid who and got his ass kicked by Sasori. Like Toby us. couldn't but refuse, but perhaps he should now. have. Did you ask Zilla that? We follow oh, God. Orders. We don't ask questions. So why start now? Oh, cookie. Some days you're the pigeon. Some days you're the pigeon. Other days you're the statue. Today is more of a statue day. Ah, yes. There are days where you just get shit on. Yeah. Oh my god. Beware the Akatsukitties. Or Akatsukitties. Kristen is pissed when her roommate, Meg, comes home with a box of mangy kittens from who knows where. And when one of the cats turns out to be infamous anime criminals, the Akatsuki better pray for a happy ending. Itachi XOC. Deidara XOC. Wow. Oh no! Oh god. <clears throat> uh... Oh god. A boy from our world. A Naruto story. A boy enters the shinobi world and finds friends along the way. Will he become one of the greatest shinobi of all time and will he be able to get back home? Or will he be stuck in the world of Naruto for the rest of his life? Find out by reading this book. P.S. I fixed the error that happened before. So it was broken oh at some God. point. I, I guess so. This is amazing. <clears throat> uh, uh, some, a lot of these are in Spanish and I can't read them. Do your best. Uh, I'll criticize you fiercely. Uh, chant again. Kiba descobre que una de sus amigas está siendo chantajeada por un disco hecido. Wait, disco hecido da internet. Indignado con o golpe baixo, él toma as dores y resuelve defende Ooh. la dese es con hecido criminoso virtual más as cocina poisas now coming home como el planeo I don't see any demons dusting for fingerprints orders are orders Mr. Wang so how did that sound fair enough but let's hold on I do not understand half of it we get that sword your accent is atrocious brilliant tactical thinking you're known for okay shall I just read it normally then fuck off Fuck off, he said it himself. How do I board this thing? Metacore, 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 Metacore. I better turn this off before I get screwed. Oh. Don't you mean shredded? Boop. There's one button press and it just stops. Ah, these fucking things. Okay, here's one. Akira K se esconde no amor. Kiba acorda sem camisa y sem memoria. Tenta entender o. Damn it, Jax. Entenda o K. Jax! No, get off! Jax! Ow! Okay, fine. He is comfortable in my lap. It's not blown up. No, there we go. <sighs> Sorry if I scream, that might be a little bit loud in the recording. Maybe. We'll find out later. <clears throat> Post production. Far As from in... beyond the truth, Eno wakes up and finds herself in an <clears throat> unknown place without any recollection of the past. Oh, son of a bitch. She makes a deal with a shinobi artist to escort her back home in return of treating his injury with something she remembered from a dream. But you know... is he really helping her for that reason? What will happen she, when she remembers her true self, and most importantly, his identity? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, the first time I went up here, I didn't—I wasn't paying attention. Didn't see that. So once it exploded, 
I uh, dashed backwards off this and died. <laughs> I awesome. do that pretty often, honestly. Because I forget, oh hey, there's fall damage. Okay, hey guys! I'm gonna check out some Harry Potter fan <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, fuck yes. Okay, are you ready for this one? <clears throat> Other Potter. My name is Ellen. Ellen Potter, as in Harry Potter's older sister. I was With nine when Voldemort attacked me. Twenty when he attacked Harry again. I had to practically raise Harry when I wasn't at Hogwarts, and was at his side when Voldemort attacked. I may not be the chosen one, but I am a Potter. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Good the self insert is strong with this one. Hello? Hello? What? Okay. Because I heard the mic go off, so I didn't know if we were having the same yeah, problems. I... No, no, I just had to this shut it off so quick to yell at my dog. Uh, okay. Everything's good. I just had to shut it off because my dog is barking and I want him to stop. Just had to give him a talking to, that's all. A stern talking to? Yes, indubitably. Oh yeah, I think I remember this one. You think Telltale Games will ever make it back? God damn it. I don't know, maybe. Probably not. I, I hope they do, because I really like their games. And I was really looking forward to Wolf Among Us too, but... Eh, who knows, at least The Walking Dead is getting finished. Yeah. Or I guess it is finished now, I think. I saw Jacksepticeye put out a video of it, but I don't want to watch it until I play it for myself, you know? Yeah, I understand. I don't want him influencing my choices. I mean, that, that is kind of funny. I do enjoy that aspect of a Let's Play, to like, see how other people play things differently than me. You know? I don't understand when people get mad, like, No, you're playing it the wrong way! Ugh. Like an Undertale. Remember that shit? People got so fucking mad. Because you, you have to play the pacifist passive. mode, otherwise you're a terrible person and you don't know how to play the game right. Yep, and people just go ape shit on you. Undertale might be a fun one for us to play. Eventually. I mean, it is on, it is on PS4, so... Eh, maybe. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh god. Oh, okay, you know what? That's enough fan fiction. I'm not gonna look at more fan fiction. What did you see? <laughs> uh, Peter Pettigrew's dilemma. Peter Pettigrew faces his guilt about betraying the Potters, especially when confronting his feelings for James. So, yeah, I'm. I'm be not not because it's gay, but because I know exactly where it's gonna go with that. <laughs> and I'm good. Man, this guy takes a beating, doesn't he? Hey, hey! Woo! Oh wow, you're really low on shotgun. Yeah. So one burst left. And there it goes. Oh my god, you know what? I just had a realization. Oh shit! Uh. Okay. Okay, so my realization is this. You know that uh, that post you had earlier? About that, like, Swedish soldier who went on, like, a fucking amphetamine rampage? Yep. He was He's the one who was holding it for the character. whole... Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, like he, that, 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 like that if, finally explains so much. Like, if anyone watching doesn't know about this, then, uh... A Swedish soldier, uh, managed to survive... 
I think it was a raid or something. And uh maybe it was like an attack or something that you got separated. It was something. He got separated from his uh from the rest of his squad. Platoon. Yeah, platoon, yeah. whatever. And it was uh he was the one who was carrying all their amphetamines. And they were warned to only use one because they are really potent. And instead he said fuck it and took them all and went on a week long rampage giving two week long. Yeah, two week long rampage. Giving the uh, through the Alps, yeah, through the Alps, giving on skis, giving well, the Soviets, the Alps. yeah, he was giving the nightmares. Soviets nightmares. Hold on, he hold on. Saved I'll look it up the... and then I can... Okay, uh, do you up, want me to just read it? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> okay, Finnish soldier gets separated from the rest of his unit. But he's the only one carrying the emergency amphetamines for the unit. Takes too many and goes on a one-man rampage for two weeks straight, giving the opposing Soviet soldiers nightmares for decades. And he did it all on skis. Did he survive? Yes. During his method up two, three-week rampage, oh, meth up two to three-week rampage, he got injured by a landmine, traveled 400 kilometers on skis, and only ate pine buds and a Siberian jay which he caught and ate raw. Fuck. When he made it back to finish lines, he was taken to a hospital where it was found that his heartbeat was nearly 200 beats per minute and his weight had dropped to 43 kilograms, 94.7 pounds. Yeah, that his is name pretty is bad. Aimo Koivunen. Fuck, what a fucking badass. Oh, yeah. The good news, you're not paranoid. Bad news, everyone is actually trying to kill you. Yeah, pretty much. You're not paranoid if people were actually trying to get you. You're not paranoid if you're right. Yeah. Well, you could be right and still be paranoid. Yeah, it's like a possibility as well. Squirrels are trying to be surveillance drones on you or something. I've seen Isn't that there... squirrel. He's out on my tree every single day. He's monitoring me. Sorry, what were you going to say? Isn't there a, uh, like, fear that somewhere, somehow, there's a duck watching you? Oh, shit. A duck. Hold on, I'm going to look that up. Fear of a duck watching you. Yeah, oh my god. And not today phobia. Being afraid of ducks because you think they may be watching you and waiting to strike. Hmm. Holy shit. Hey, you got shotgun shells. And that's a today. Wait. Anatidaphobia, I think. Wow. What a very specific fear. I. Fear of. Let's see. Fear of holes. Fear of God, fear of heights, fear of God Nike, fear of long words, fear of God vans, fear of clowns, fear of death, fear of being alone. <laughs> wow. Phobophobia, the fear of fear, the thought of being afraid of objects and situations. I. Oh, what the fuck? Got the sword from Mizuki? Um, yeah. If it's the swords that attract them, do you think Master Zilla is in danger? Why? Does he have one? Kagami, darling, shut up. Oh. Yeah, he's he got does one. have one. He has one. We have one, and we're about to get, get the second two. one here. Yeah. Okay. Ergophobia: the fear of work or the workplace. Somnophobia, also known as hypnophobia, the fear of falling asleep. Chaetophobia, fear of loose or detached hair. These are fucking crazy. Huh. Let's see. I, I guess there's like a. I, I guess you can be afraid of anything. You know? Yeah, it's possible. The fear of cancer. Okay, I guess that one's kind of fair. Fear of failure. Okay. Atichophobia. Atichophobia. It is the single greatest barrier to success. Okay, whatever. 
fear of birds, fear of chickens, which I feel is the same thing as a fear of birds, but whatever. Fear of crowds. Huh. Wow, there's a lot of fears. Well, okay, we are all out of time here. Yes, we are. That's so... So, don't be afraid to watch our next uh, episode. <laughs> video would work too. Regardless. Yeah, video. I almost said vibisode. Whatever. Anyway, thanks stupid. for watching and we'll see you later. Adios.